Ladies and gentlemen, here to read a story from Relatively Painless, a woman who has guest starred on or had recurring roles with some of the most successful television series of the modern millennium, including but not limited to Criminal Minds, NCIS, The Bold and the Beautiful, on which she was both, and who took Best Actress honors at the London Independent Film Awards for her star turn as Lindsay Grunman in the Corona Dialogues, the web series based on the book we are here to celebrate this evening. She is one of the most sought after readers of audiobooks in the field. I am overjoyed to have her here this evening, reading Gift from Relatively Painless, ladies and gentlemen, Kate Orsini. Darling Lindsay, happy anniversary. It's hard to believe it's already been 15 years since you and that lovely woman got together. I hope you know how much we adore her, and I hope she knows as well. It took me a while to find just the right gift for you. I went all the way out to the mall and then schlepped around from store to store, looking at things and just thinking about you and what I could remember from that last visit to your house, trying to think of what you might need to make the place feel homier, more like a nice place to raise a family. Your father wants me to cut that last sentence because he thinks it sounds like I'm hinting about grandchildren, but I swear to you I'm not. I got that message loud and clear. Although to be completely truthful, I don't know why you won't even think about it. I mean, there are all sorts of ways now for one of you to get pregnant, and if that doesn't appeal to you, adoption is always a perfectly good option. I remember when you told me that you two aren't going to have kids because you do not like children. I thought, oh, she gets that from me. It's not as though everyone who has ever had children has felt entirely prepared. I certainly didn't, and I must have done something right. Just look how great you and your brother turned out. Naturally, the first thing I thought of was to get you a new bed for the guest room to replace that horrible, lumpy, Convertible couch you had me and your father sleep on when we came out there, but I was afraid that would seem too much like something I was doing to make myself comfortable in case I ever visit again for whatever reason don't opt for a comfortable hotel room to stay in. Besides, I had no idea how expensive a bed can be until I started looking for one and that just seemed an outrageous expense for something to send you that might only be used on special occasions. I don't know, do you ever even have visitors when your father and I aren't out there on one of our rare cross-country excursions? It's funny to think of you having a whole life out there in California all the time when we're not even there, going out to dinner and taking out the trash and doing those things that grown-up people do. I could have shopped for a present online, as they say. That's where you buy things over the computer. It's really amazing. You just type in all your credit card information, all those little numbers, clickety, clickety, click, and the thing you ordered just comes right to you in the mail, just like if you'd ordered it from a real catalog. I like to look at things and touch them before I buy them, though. So I went down to the mall and picked out this lovely table setting for eight. <laughs> God knows when you'll actually be serving eight whole people for dinner, of course, but I noticed that some of your plates and saucers and so on didn't match when I was looking through your cabinets trying to find the wine glasses there. So I thought this was something you might be able to use. I picked it out, jotted down the product number, and then went home and ordered it from my computer because everyone tells me it's so much more convenient that way. Although to tell you the truth, I really don't understand why. I hope you love the place settings as much as I did when I saw them. They're all made of some sort of wonderful hardwood. I think they said it was endangered. And I know that you two are all environmentally conscious and everything, but still they're just lovely with deep, rich wood grain. They can't just go in a dishwasher. You have to do them by hand. And they take a special kind of detergent that won't stain the wood or take out the oils or something. I don't know. I bought a small bottle of it to be delivered along with the stuff. If you need more, it's called True Grain Cleanser. And when you use it, you'll just want to make sure that you wipe the dishes clean thoroughly with a paper towel or a rag that you don't mind throwing out because over time it becomes toxic as it evaporates. 
When you run out of the bottle I sent, you can order more at the company. I don't remember what it's called, but you can look it up through the computer. We have a thing here called the Google. I don't know if you have the same thing on the West Coast, but I'm sure you have something like it. It's like the old yellow pages. Oh, am I dating myself? <gasps> Only it's in your computer and you can just look stuff up about anything. My love to you and your lovely girlfriend. Your father says I should stop calling her that or you'll think I can't even remember her name. Isn't that a riot? <laughs> Mom. <laughs>